Hey, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using the Microsoft Photos app on Windows 11, just to let you know that Microsoft has recently announced the release of a major update where the Photos app is now switching platforms from UWP, which um, stands for Universal uh, Windows Platform, in case you're unaware, to Windows App SDK. And the new Photos application is already fully rolled out. So previously it was available for insiders and is now available for all. So if you are an average home user like myself and are using the Photos app on Windows 11, then um, starting with version 2024 11050.3002.0 and above, you should start seeing these changes. Now currently I have version, if we head to our settings, 2024 11050.3002.0. 29009.0. So I've already moved on from 3002, but just make sure that your Photos app um, is updated to the latest version through the Microsoft Store, obviously, if you want to get access to these so called changes and improvements that Microsoft has announced. Now, just a bit of background regarding um, the Windows App SDK. And um, this launched in March uh, of 2021, as far as I can recall. So basically, app developers can use it to create apps for Windows 11, along with Windows 10 version 18.09 and later. And um, the latest major version of App SDK is 1.5, which launched um, this year in February 2024. So that's a bit of a history regarding um, App SDK. Now, um, there are a couple of so-called improvements and changes over the previous version. So... First of all, the app can now run at a so-called medium integrity level by default. So when an app like Microsoft Photos runs at a medium integrity level, it can directly save an edited photo without asking you to choose a folder. So that's so-called one of the first advantages. Then something else is that another advantage of the new Photos app is they've scaled down the processes running in the background. So if we head over to our task manager, on Windows 11, yeah, under apps, you'll see photos. You only get one process now, and if there are any other processes running, like screenshot and so on, you'll see those now as a standalone photos app process when you open the task manager. So they've kind of uh, decreased the amount of background processes that are running um, in the task manager. And the, the photos app now also has access to new Windows uh, 32 APRs and when you are three changes which were missing in the UWP um, U Universal Windows Platform version which was the previous version. Now something else um, that Microsoft mentions from the blog post um, it's quite an in-depth blog post so I'm just really just summarizing it for the purpose of today's video. Um, another change is the use of WebView 2 which is also used in Microsoft Edge in the Edge browser which is part and parcel of Edge. So a couple of improvements in the Photos app with WebView 2 include, and I'm just going to mention these, WebGL support enabling, enables improved image rendering quality. It's their superior performance when sharing high quality images between the native and web layers using a shared buffer. Um, it supports a more up-to-date version of Chromium, which carries the latest improvements and security updates. And then the last one, the last improvement regarding WebView 2, according to Microsoft, it allows Microsoft to optimize the performance of their AI service, which requires sending pixel buffers back and forth from uh, their web editor to their native app for AI uh, infer inference. So basically, those are the WebView 2 improvements according to Microsoft, but obviously that is open to debate. Now, although Microsoft has mentioned a couple of performance improvements, and one thing I have noticed, and I actually noticed this a couple of days ago, is that it's very slow when you launch the actual app, much slower than it was previously. So if I just quickly head back, and let's just relaunch the Photos app quickly. Maybe I can try and find it. There we go. Now watch how slow it takes to launch. That's taken a good couple of seconds. And if you haven't run the app in a long time and you open it, it can take up to about 20 seconds to run. And I find that a little bit strange because 
Um, basically, Microsoft has mentioned all these improvements, but yet if you launch the app, uh, it takes a good couple of seconds. And on your first launch, as mentioned, it could take up to 20 seconds. So I think that's a little bit of a a downgrade, for want of a better word. But nonetheless, um, that's according to Microsoft. Um, there are a couple of improvements where they have mentioned that this major update, they've switched platforms from UWP to Windows App SDK. And as mentioned, if you want to uh, get the app and make sure your app is up to date, just head over to the Microsoft Store, click on Check for Updates. But I'm sure by now, um, the app would have been updated if you are using Windows, the Photos app on Windows 11. But there you go. And as mentioned, that's version 2024, 11.050.3002.0 and above to see these so-called improvements. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.